Frigg in Old High German. In this video, we're going to go over, well, Frigg's name in Old High German, and, and the origin of the name of the goddess in question. And for those of you who don't know, Frigg is the wife of Odin. Odin, that is, a deity. So Frigg in Old High German is recorded in the second Merseburg charm, which dates back to the 9th century. And here we have uh, above, I've written some normalized spellings. Uh, the, these are a more, a more recent development. It, it, it's really some grammar books or some uh, books that talk about this goddess in, uh, in question. Or some linguists, they would write it with, as you see there, with F-R-I-A or F-R-I-J-A, uh, depending on the author, right? Uh, but for the sake of uh, Old High German... And the text that we're talking about here, form is F-R-I-I-A. So Freya goes back to Proto-Germanic Frio. So how did this come to be? So we have the Proto-Germanic Frio. Uh, what happened was that the first J in Frio got dropped. And then other developments happened. And here we have the Old High German Freya. I should also say that the J that has a that's in the two brackets there... Uh, what that means in linguistics is that when you see that, that means it's optional. To go a little deeper, that we see here uh, Freya in Old High German. Uh, the thing is, from Proto-Germanic, the J, the second J, it's represented in Old High German as I. And uh, the, the, the I in Frio, in the Proto-Germanic, that is represented through the I, that's the first I in Freya. Alright, so the, the medial J, that's dropped. Just to go a little deeper into explaining what characters represent what in, in from Proto-Germanic to Old High German, uh, this can be quite complex. You kind of have to look at a, a symbol and know that this in this other language represents this. So, for example, the J, you know, it, it, it is a Y and whatnot, uh, but that that is represented through uh, through the uh, old high German source of you know that has Freya and the and the I, you know, is what would be the J, uh, the second I would be what what would be the J in Proto Germanic. I hope that makes sense. The same thing happened in the case of the word friend in old high German of uh, Friund, where uh, you would have Proto Germanic Friund, and then the J, uh, the medial J got dropped and hence and developed into our old high German. Friund. Anyway, thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe if you're new, and if you really like the channel, please become a patron at my Patreon page down below. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.